Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to draw this figure in isometric projection, right? So the first thing you do when you hear the word isometric is to draw your isometric axis, which is like this. You pick up your set square, right? And you draw your vertical line this way. You can see that? And uh, you draw your horizontal line this way, as in the z axis, and also the x axis. Start again for the z and the x. So, this is what we have. So when we've done, when we've done that, we're having this. Now, the next thing, if you look at this very well, entire length, which is at this point here, is given to be 60. So from here, which is here, straight down here is from here, which is here, straight down here, that is 60. So I'm going to measure 60, right? So when I measure my 60 on my meter rule, I'll place it this way and I'm going to measure 60 and this is 60 from 0 to 6 is 60 and similarly if you look at this point from here to here it's given as 50 so from here I'll measure 50 so taking my meter rule I'm going to measure 50 so I place it this way from here to this point here 5 that is what 50 you can see that now the next thing is the height if you look closely from the first height one to here is 20 the second height from here to here is 50 so 20 plus 50 is 70 the third height from here to here is 15 so 70 plus 15 is what 85 right so I'm going to measure the height of what? Of 85. So I place it there. This is 80 and this is 85. You can see that? So the next thing I'll do is to complete my box. So let's complete the box and see. Place your T-square, your C-square and your T-square. And you project this point up this way. Then you do the same thing at this point too. Take it up. You see that? And also you draw your axis here. You turn it to the other side also. This way. And you draw the other axis here you come to this side too you do for this right now let's take a good look at that right so if I do that I'll be having this that again so I'll close it up From here close the top so this is where they are meeting so the other guys are not useful so this is the book that we have now the next thing is to start interpreting now if you look from here to here the same thing as saying from here to here and it's ticking so I am going to ticking it take your Meter rule taken from the beginning of this line to the ending, just like this. Right now, if you look closely again, the height from here to here is 20, which is from here to somewhere around here. So, I'm going to measure 20. So, if I place it there, I'll measure 20. So, from here to here is what is 20. 
and I'm going to thicken it from here it's 20 so I'll thicken it right now if you look at it the entire base here is 20 the thickness 20 all through so I'll take my metal rule and I'll repeat the same thing all through so this is what I am going to do so with the help of my metal rule right I'll place it on that point and I'll thicken from here to here right I'll take in from that point to this point and I will also take in from this point through down here Right, and also taking here too. Right, and also I'll close here up just like the diagram suggests, and here also. The same thing. Now we've done that aspect. So just to be on the safer side, I'm going to just close it up a little bit with faint line. Mm. So look at the diagram again. This way we have it. Now if you look closely, I'm going to measure. 20 from here from here inward is 20 so this point is this point here and i'm going to measure what i'm going to measure 20. so i'm measuring 20 place my meter rule here i'm going to measure 20 from 0 to 20 here right and i'm going to thicken it See that now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'll use my instrument and draw a line from that point downward because if you look at this from here straight down like saying from the beginning of this point straight down so if you look at this point you trace it from here to here is 30 then 10 that will be 40 so it means that from this point to this point is given as 40 or similarly if you remove 10 away from 50 you'll be having what 40 so what i'll do is i'm going to remove 10 from here right for what i'm doing i'm going to remove 10 from this point here so from 0 to 1 is 10 you can see that then I'll use my metal rule just like this. And I'll place it at this point, move it to that point, and I'll draw my line, faint line first. I'll come here also and move it to this point. Then I'll draw another faint line too. So I can thicken it because in the diagram they are all thickened. They are what? They are all thickened. From here to here is thickened. From here to here. Right. Now let's look at the diagram again. Now, from this point, which is this point here, I'll project the line upward. Right, I project the line upward at a distance of what 50. Look at it from here to here 50. So let's do that. I'm having it this way from here. Project the line upward. And from that point, I'm going to measure 50. From the baseline here, I'm going to measure what 50. So this is 
zero from here so it's exactly 50 at this point and the good news there is i'm going to thicken it right so i can easily thicken that point like that from here what's that Yeah, it's 50. If you look at the diagram closely again, from this point here, hmm, which is this point here, the height of 50, I'll measure a line inward, which is what? 20. Right? So let's do that first. So the way I always draw the line is with my C square. Don't forget that. To make it easier, so I measure a line inward this way. Then I'll measure 20. So let's measure the 20 and see. So from here, 2 to 0 is 20. You can see that. So I'll just stick in it. You can see that. From here to here is what? 20. Now if you look at the diagram again, from this point here, which is this point here, I'll draw it straight down to meet here, which is here. So let's just do that so you see what I'm talking about. So I'll place it at this point. I'll draw a line that will touch that point, taking it. You don't have to use the instrument here. And then you can see that. Now the next thing is from here, which is here, I will draw a line inward, which is given as a distance of what 20. You can see. So let's do that. So I'll place my chest square this way. Now I'll draw a line, paint line first. Then I'm going to measure the distance of what? What 20, which I am going to take in from here to this point. Right? The given as what? 20. You can see that? Now after that, let's see what we have again. So since we've drawn this line which is 20, which is also this point here, right? So it means that the base here, which is here, I'll measure another 20, so it will correspond. So let me measure another 20 from the base here. 20. So from 0, from 2 here, right? So 0 is 20. So I'm going to join this point to the point 20 there. You can see that now if you look closely again from this point which is this point i'll measure a distance of what of 30 in this direction so let's do that and see so from here place my t square on my my size square my t square and i'll move my c square to that point and i'll take it in what where I'm going to measure 30. So if I start from 8, which is 8 here, you can see 8 will be 0, is 10, is 20, and is 30. So this is where I will stop in here. Oh, I would like to show you using the meter rule to see what I'm talking about. I can just take my meter rule this way and measure 30 from 3 to 0 is 30. So this is 2 here. Can you see? They are corresponding. So I'll just take in it from this point down to this point you can see that that's the 30 now the next thing we'll do let's see now from this point here 30 which is this point here i'll draw a line that is perpendicular to that point here right i mean drawing a parallel line to this at the distance of if you look you're not giving distance from here to here but you know that from here to here is the same as from here to here and from here to here is giving us what? It's giving us um, 20, right? It's giving us 40. Because if you remove um, 10, if you remove 20 from 60, right? This is 60. So if you remove 20 from 60, you'll be left with what? 40. So I'm going to measure a distance of what? Of 40. So with the help of this, I'll place it here. And I'll draw an horizontal line this way. You can see that so in that line 
I'm going to measure 40, which I am going to thicken. So 40 from 4 to 0 is 40. So this is 0 here. So I'm going to thicken it. Right? Now let's see what we have. Now I've measured the distance from here to 40. Now I'm going to draw a line parallel to this. Right? That will meet with this. So this point here, I'll draw a line outward that will meet with the other one here. So first of all, let's do it this way. Draw a line from here. First of all, use your faint line this way. Then use this one to connect it, just like it is shown in the diagram. So I'm going to thicken it from here to touch here. Before I'll decide to close here up like this. But like I can just extend it a little bit here. Now, if you look at this carefully, let's look at our diagram. Now, if you look carefully at our diagram, this point here, which is this point here, is touching this point here, which is this point here. So I can use my meter rule and I will connect those two points together this way. With my tape line. You can see that. Now, if you look closely from here, right, I will extend it backward to touch the other line here. So, this point here is this point here. So, I'm going to take it up, right? So, I'm going to take it up. So, let's take that up. So, when you're taking it up, move it to this point. From here, I'll take it up with a thick line, right? So that's from here. Touch this line. You can see that. Before, I will now extend this to touch this. Right? I see that now from this point right which is this point here i'll draw a line upward of 15 but the good news is i already have my total height so i'll just move this to touch the top here with the help of my c square standing perpendicular on my c square like this i forget the square is there so i'll just move it to that point i see that so I'm going to take in it from here to touch up here. And that is the distance of what? 15. Now from here, what I'll simply do here is this. I'm going to use my instrument, my roof, right? And I'll connect from this point straight down to this point. Just like it is shown in the diagram if you look at it from here it's touching here and similarly the other point here also is touching here too you see that and I should be able to close it up If you look at this, I should be able to close here up to now we are successfully reproduced that figure, right? Now, if you want important thing is if you are drawing in isometry, don't forget to put any dimension just like you've seen in the diagram, right? So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to like the video also. Thanks for watching.